Hey y'all, welcome to Camara's Kitchen. Today we're making some blackened catfish, some mushroom rice, some broccoli and spinach. If you love soul food meals, please check out my ebook in the description box and we're gonna get right in with the rice. Now I am using some minute brown rice today, but I'm gonna season it up first with some butter, some rosemary, thyme, and a chicken and herb bouillon cube and a pinch of salt. I'm also gonna be adding in just some garlic and herb seasoning, it's pre-mixed, and I'm gonna allow this to come to a boil. I'm then gonna put in a cup and a half of this rice. Now the instructions say it can cook in 10 minutes, but honey, I ain't never seen that to be true. I always find that this takes about 15 to 20 minutes to cook on the lowest setting, so that's what I'm going to do. And once it is ready, I'm gonna go in with some chopsticks, I'm going to fluff it up, and then I'm going to cut it off. I'm just gonna put it on a back stove to just kinda chill out while I work on the catfish. Now I am using some blue catfish and I've cut this catfish filet in half and I'm going to add some sunflower oil because this is a high heat oil, okay? Then I'm gonna rub it in, okay, you know, give it a little massage, okay, on the front, give it a little massage on the back. And I'm gonna go in with just simple seasonings today, okay? I got some blackened red fish seasoning. I'm gonna put that all over. And then I'm going to put on some garlic and onion seasoning. This is the same one I use in the rice. I got this one from TJ Maxx. So if you find some spices like that at TJ Maxx, go ahead and pick them up. They're generally really good quality. And then I'm gonna flip them over and do the same thing. You know, when I'm trying to do these quick meals, these easy meals, I'm not trying to pull out five, six, seven spices, okay? Just these blends is enough. Now I've had my cast iron skillet heating on medium heat, and then I'm gonna go in with some sunflower oil and some ghee because I want that buttery flavor, but I don't wanna use regular butter because sometimes that can burn. Now I am blackening this fish, but I don't actually like to use super high heat. I find that when you're using a cast iron skillet and you have that paprika, you're going to get a red color and a blackened color on your fish without the need for super high heat. You're gonna know your fish is ready when it starts to pull away from the pan, just like this. For me, that took about three to four minutes on one side. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm gonna let it cook on the other side for about three minutes. So this is really quick. In six minutes, your fish should pretty much be done. Now I'm gonna put in my butter because I'm not gonna cook it very long. I'm just gonna use it to baste and I'm gonna add in some lemon juice over the top of each fillet. I'm then going to take a spoon and I'm just going to baste my fish with that good old lemony and buttery flavor. This is going to be so delicious and keep your catfish super moist. Let me know if you are a fan of blackened catfish or do you prefer fried catfish? Now, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. That fried cornmeal crust on some catfish is good, but I do like blackened catfish for something kind of light. So let me know which one you prefer. Now, my fish is done, and since my spices at the bottom of the pan are not burnt, I am going to throw in my mushrooms right into this pan. Now, if you have cooked a lot of fillets of catfish or your spices are really black at the bottom, you're gonna need to clean the pan. But I'm not gonna do that because I want that flavor, honey. Okay, I want all that seasoning up in my mushrooms. I'm gonna let this saute for about three minutes by itself. Then I'm gonna add in some ghee and then I'm gonna put in about half of an onion that I have just sliced. I'm gonna saute this until it becomes nice and caramelized. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a bit of tamari. Tamari is basically like gluten-free soy sauce. It has a lighter flavor than soy sauce. If you have that, use it. If you don't, just use a dash of soy sauce, honey. You ain't gotta get nothing special for this recipe. Add on some garlic, and as well, a little bit of that garlic and onion seasoning I showed you from before. And then I'm gonna saute this for about two more minutes. And then I'm gonna add in my brown rice. Now this whole saute stir fry mushroom rice is really good. Even if you don't like brown rice, you are going to really enjoy this recipe. Once I mix this together, I just adjusted the flavor a little bit by adding a little bit more of that garlic and onion seasoning. And if you don't have that, just use a mixture of garlic powder, onion powder, and your favorite mixed herbs. For my veggies, 
I am first going to do some broccoli. I'm adding some butter and some garlic to a pan and I have some broccoli that I have taken from frozen and I have defrosted it because I ain't trying to chop up no broccoli, okay? So it's pretty much already cooked. I'm going in with that garlic and onion seasoning and a little salt and pepper and a little bit of lemon juice for a little, you know, acidity on my broccoli. And then I'm gonna stir fry this for about two to three minutes and we good to go. Now, baby, a little spinach always goes great with a little bit of rice and blackened fish. So I'm gonna add in more butter and garlic and then I'm gonna add in my spinach. Now, don't be like me and let this sit for a little bit too long. Okay, my garlic got a little bit, got a little bit toasty, okay? But you know what, we still ate this spinach, all right? Once it was wilted down in about 30 seconds, I went in and turned it. As y'all can see, the garlic a little toasty, but you know what, it's all right, we still gonna eat it. Let me know if you are going to make this meal. This whole meal to me was light, it was healthy, it was delicious. It had that great blackened catfish. You guys know that I love you and Jesus loves you and God bless you for supporting this channel and goodbye.